Guys, Davin Lim, Dermatologist. Today we'll be talking about five, yes, that's right, five best treatments for darker skin types. So the first treatment is the biggest bang for buck. It's picosecond lasers. So picosecond laser uses a very short pulse duration, in other words, a short time that delivers a lot of energy. So what this laser does is that it can help remodel skin. In other words, improve collagen, decrease fine lines, and also treat pigmentation. But most importantly, it's super safe in dark skin types. So Pico lasers have been with us for about 10 years, but two lasers are really stand out. That includes the Pico Way and the Pico Sure Pro. These lasers are used mainly by high-end clinics and specialists, including dermatologists and plastic surgeons. Most patients who've got darker skin type will benefit from two, sometimes three treatments. Like I said, it's super safe and super effective. So number two is something called RF or radio frequency. Radio frequency uses a particular wavelength, but it delivers or translates that wavelength and energy into heat. So RF is also known as radio frequency or a step up RFM, which is radio frequency microneedling. RFM or microneedling uses heat over a short period of time. Whilst normal radio frequency, for example, your thermage, your new era, all these systems produce heat or radio frequency over a longer period of time. Now, why this is great for darker skin types is that for dark skin, generally speaking, the collagen layer is thicker, but also the collagen bundles are tighter with more collagen per unit um, area. The other thing as well is that collagen in darker skin types have the advantage because they contract a lot easier. When they contract a lot easier, it improves fine lines, skin laxity, and skin tone as well, so the skin feels firmer. It's not all good news for patients with darker skin types because for more reactive dermal collagen, that increases the incidence of keloids and also hypertrophic scars. So it's a bit of give and take. However, darker skin does much better compared to lighter skin when it comes to radio frequency. Number three is a device called the Hollywood Spectra. The Hollywood Spectra, as the name suggests, is pretty fancy. What it does is that it hits dark pigment. So dark pigment can be carbon, in other words, like a Hollywood Spectra peel, or it can be just a normal skin color. And what it does is that it targets particular pigment within the dermis as well as the epidermis. In other words, the lower skin as well as the upper skin. Generally speaking, treatments are performed every two to three weeks. The great thing about the Hollywood Spectra or the Q-Switch laser is that it's got no downtime. The results are not as spectacular compared to Pico lasers, but the costs are very much cheaper compared to Pico second lasers. So Spectra can treat certain conditions like enlarged pores, fine lines and wrinkles, oily skin, but also markedly decreased pigmentation, which is a very common cause or common concern in darker skin types. So guys, that's number three. Let's move on to number four. Radio frequency microneedling. We talked about radio frequency before, but this uses radio frequency plus microneedling. Microneedling, as you guys know, can be a good treatment to help both upper skin conditions as well as lower skin conditions. For example, scarring, acne scarring, and enlarged pores. Radio frequency microneedling uses radio frequency heat transferred over a very short time period, something like 0.5 seconds. And what it does is it protects the upper layers of skin or your epidermis, but targets below the dermis. What this means is that the chances of anything going wrong, for example, paradoxical or unwanted skin darkening, is markedly decreased with radio frequency microneedling. Some of these devices are insulated. In other words, the needle itself has got a coating around it, which means it protects the upper layers of skin whilst delivering energy down low. And the energy can be delivered in different depths. For example, super deep, deep, and superficial. So your skincare provider will talk to you about what is needed, what the best sources of radio frequency microneedling is. So generally speaking, Morpheus 8, radio frequency using RF Genius and Infinite, those are probably the top three RFM devices. Number five is skincare acids. Skincare acids can be very effective in treating concerns in darker skin types. 
Generally speaking, we like using salicylic acid if you have acne, acne prone skin, or even oily skin. Salicylic acid can be delivered in concentrations varying between five all the way up to 30%. It's super safe in darker skin types provided it's done with care and caution and expertise. Generally speaking, it can reduce pimples, it can also help with fine lines, but the great thing about salicylic acid is that it's anti-inflammatory and can treat blackheads. Usually it's spaced every two to three weeks apart. So the second skincare acid I like using is retinoic acid. Retinoic acid is a form of vitamin A. And with this chemical peel, retinoic acid chemical peel, that can decrease pigment, but also help regulate your oil production and also exfoliate blackheads. The third acid which can work very well is kojic acid. Kojic acid can reduce pigmentation. So generally speaking, it's used between one to 3% and usually with other formulations such as arbutin, citric acid, glycolic acid, lactic acid, and in some cases combined with low dose salicylic acid. Guys, if you have darker skin types, really, really important. It's good to see or best practice to see an aesthetician, a dermatologist, a plastic surgeon, who's experienced in the treatment of darker skin types. I hope you liked that video. It's a short one, but those are my five tips.